Hi, can uh, can everybody hear me? Can anybody see me? You don't vanish straight away. Not all at once. It happens bit by bit. It's not like in the old movies about invisibility where you lose sight first of a hand or, or a leg, but you can disguise it, and it's hilarious so long as you keep your pants on. The erasure, this erasure that I'm talking about, this invisibility, it happens bit by bit. You fade away more and more each day. It never happened to me, you think, but suddenly you're just a voice, a faint one too, one everybody seems to think is adorable or hilarious. The one discrimination that will happen to us all, if we're lucky, is aging. Ageism. You might get through life and never experience sexism, racism, transphobia, homophobia, whatever, but once you pass 50, you are considered old. And old is unfresh, unexciting. It's bread you wouldn't eat. It's eggs you'd throw out. <laughs> now, I'm going to share something very, very shocking with you all here tonight, and you must keep it very secret. But I am nearly 50. I mean, I'm 47. Don't laugh, sir. I'm 47. I, I'm not nearly 50 at all if you're five and counting every day until you're six. <laughs> but if you're looking down from a space station or back from the future, I'm as good as 50. In fact, in relation to 25, which is when everything happens, I'm 60 or dead, but definitely starting to become invisible. And before anyone gets in there and says something nice, like, I'd never have guessed, or you look all right for your age. <laughs> that is part of it. It's nice to hear, but in other words, it means you're beating the system somehow, but not for long, Granny. <laughs> I have a perception of what age it looks like, and you don't quite fit it yet, but now that I know your actual age, I'll subconsciously start to discount you. Milf. Mother, I'd like to fuck. An older woman, you'd still like to fuck. Or is it just mothers? Is it the maternity itself which is attractive? Would you still fuck me even though I've never given birth? What's the acronym for that? <laughs> Cougar. Not a real woman. An animal. A wild beast. Ew. They haven't stopped being sexual around the normal time we say they should, say 26 and a half, and then they're supposed to vanish. When the first wrinkles show up, the first or many gray hairs, if you don't take care of them immediately, you've given up, you've let yourself go. When relaxing into who you really are is giving up, you know society has a problem with aging. When what you must do is hide the fact that you're getting old, ah, let me tell you, 50 happens real fast. 50 comes around in the time between an in-breath and an exhalation. I feel the same now as I did when I was 25. The mirror may not match the feeling, but I have almost the same amount of energy, the same amount of dreams, except I'm not supposed to ask for those dreams anymore. I'm supposed to fade out and make way for the new crop, even if I haven't had my go yet. You missed your go. That's how it's seen. You missed your go. If I haven't heard of you by 50 or you're not a millionaire home-owning CEO or something, we don't know where to put you. Aging is like a hole being dug beneath your feet and a layer of brick being laid down around you with every passing year. For imperceptible reasons, reasons you, do, you don't even notice passing, you suddenly find yourself at the bottom of a well, practically invisible and almost inaudible. We take the crone myth very seriously still. Old women are usually, they can only be wise or feared. They're crass and crotchety or doddery and adorable. <laughs> but once the fertility aspect is gone, you wouldn't take them seriously. Sure, what use are they now? Men suffer ageism too. Don't worry about that, lads. <laughs> Though not quite to the same degree, you become distinguished wizards. We might be useful for asking for an old recipe. Be vigilant for the lazy trope of the hilarious old woman. I'm not saying that older women don't have wit and senses of humour as sharp as a cliched knitting needle, but for example, skateboarding in itself isn't hilarious, but if a granny or a stuntman dressed as one does it, it's a laugh riot, because we're so unused to seeing older women that way. 
Rapping? Not hilarious. But ha ha, look, a woman in her 70s has heard of hip hop. And sex. Even the most inclusive comedians use older women as punchlines when it comes to sex. And who was giving me the blowjob? Her mother. Like our foremothers never gave a blowjob. <laughs> our grandmothers invented blowjobs and unusual positions because it was cold outside and there was no telly. I don't want to make you think about your own grandmother in an inappropriate way. That's never correct, but uh, you know what I'm saying. Don't write Nana's skills off. <laughs> Why don't we see older women in these situations? Past menopause, women aren't supposed to be physical beings anymore, so we erase them completely from popular culture. The women in the ads are all 18 or Helen Mirren who is great, she's great and we all love her, but she has genetics and money with which most of us can't compete. Sagging breasts must not only be a disgusting joke or something to fix, they're part of life. You'll get them too, lads included. <laughs> Wrinkles are not something to be outrun, although nobody enjoys them. Everybody has them, why don't we see them more? Gray hair is only permissible on George Clooney donkeys and some cats. Most women of my age have at least some gray hair. We just don't see them. I don't see myself or how I will be on screen. Not enough. For both genders, losing mobility is not a failure. It's what happens when you mix humans and gravity for a long time. It will happen to you if you live long enough. All of this will happen to you. Dress age appropriately. How does that go now? I still like my legs, but I'm disgusting if I get them out. I should know better, I'm a disgrace. But the truth is that the problem lies with the people who have the problem, not my aging legs. But the people with the problem seem to be the ones in charge. We see it really clearly in the US presidential campaign. Hillary Clinton is old. Actually, many presidents have been older, but her voice, her face, her health are all held up to extra public scrutiny. An old male president has experience, wisdom, gravitas, dignity. We had a referendum here last year where many people had strong ideas about why the president should, in fact, have a few miles on the clock. I guess so long, that is, as he's an older man, older women. Well, are we sure they know how to use the Wi-Fi, let alone run a country? Are we sure they won't fall down at an international event? Men suffer ageism too, like I said, but while they sometimes are rewarded, women pay for surviving all the rest of the shit. According to perception, the years don't make us tough, they make us worn. Not giving a fuck. If your granny doesn't rap or skateboard, it's probably because she doesn't want to. The best bit about getting older is not giving a fuck. Granny DGAF. <laughs> but it isn't, mm -mm, but it isn't as simple as not giving a fuck. True, you do give fewer fucks when you become invisible, but partly that, you know, that's because you, it's the only way to get things done when you're invisible, you have to not give a fuck because the social contract you use when you're younger abandon you. If you make eye contact with a bartender or a server, it's gross, it's creepy. It's not just a bit of fun while you wait for your sandwich or your beer. Not a silly social way to make sure you hold your place in the line or that they'll remember you because they've no interest. They can't see you. Those little daily interactions go. No wonder you find yourself standing up after 40 minutes on a stool, twirling your handbag around your head, crying, for God's sake, Sonny, give me my fucking wine. <laughs> you do fade physically. The color leaves your cheeks, your hair. You have to do a lot of squats and lunges to make sure things don't lose density and break down the line. You see things happening again and again, fashions coming in and out, but do you get credit for it? No. And proper order. You shouldn't get extra respect just because you got somewhere first, but you should not get less because you'll be gone first too. You may not get much wiser, but you do not lose your vitality either, yourself. I'm still in here. I'm down this well, but I still hear all the reasons why I shouldn't be on TV or still be single at my age. What was wrong with me? Now, before I met my husband a few years ago, that was used as a reason to dump me. Age is a reason to dump you, maybe even not to date you in the first place, an excuse to be rude. Oh, I see, I've run out of time, so I'll skip that story I was going to tell, and I'll cut to the chase. We see documentaries undercover in care homes about how even those who are supposed to care, who are paid to do so, sometimes do not. 
would that attitude be so prevalent if wider society didn't rush to bury older people before they are dead? Don't forget old people. I'm not just saying visit your nana more. She may be awful. She may be an awful human. <laughs> I'm saying question why you don't see her in magazines or on screen. Why do people trade us in for younger models like shitty cars? Until we see it, we can't change it. I'm just asking you to see it. Try to retrain your eye, your first response. If a movie is lazy enough to have a hilarious granny having sex scene, stop for a second and instead of saying, ew, granny sex, <laughs> which you've been conditioned to do, instead go, wow, Chad will have learned some new moves. <laughs> Lucky Chad. <laughs> Laugh with us, not at us. Then maybe we'll all be having so much more fun. You won't want to throw us on the scrap heap. There'll be more intergenerational interaction and people won't throw you on the scrap heap either when your time comes. For now, I fight the heap with all my might. This series is called, just to wrap up, this series is called Stuff You Didn't Think You'd Care About. Well, apart from breathing in and out, this is the one experience we will all share. We will all have to care about. It will happen to you. So now is the time to change things for your granny now and for your skateboarding, rapping, no limits self to come. <laughs> my takeaway, if there's any from this, your old is the world's dumbest insult because it will happen to everyone. It's like saying you're fat in a way that's intended to be hurtful, then eating 17 cream pies. I'm not asking you to be more respectful to older people because I'm nearly there. I'm saying you'd be dumb not to realize it's in the post and all of our attitudes need to change. Don't be the world's dumbest insulter. Have a great future. I hope everybody sees you. You're sincerely a disembodied voice. <laughs>